Alright folks, welcome to another episode of Star Mountain Outdoors and Bushcraft. I'm John, I'm the host, and on today's episode, I am taking my son Nathan and his friend Ian on a backpacking trip into the Pecos Wilderness to see three lakes. So come on and join us. On the first leg of the hike, we're going to start at the Windsor Trailhead and continue on to a campsite near this meadow where there's a trail junction. Um, a junction with the High Line Trail. Um, to get there, right about here, I think, we cross Windsor Creek. Um, where we cross the creek, there is a a little kind of a side trail. It's an unmaintained trail that goes up the canyon. It's sort, sort of a short, shortcut. Otherwise, the trail swings around this ridge and goes way back around. But uh, we're going to take this trail up and we're going to camp right about here between the trail and the meadow. There's a nice flat spot. And then the next section of trail we'll hike probably that same day is a little side trip to Stewart Lake. Just spend a little time there, maybe walk around it and enjoy it, take some pictures, that sort of thing. And then we'll head back to camp from there. And then the next day, we'll head on up to Lake Catherine. So that is this section of trail. And maybe if there's time on the way back, we might hit that section of trail to Spirit Lake too. And so that'll be day two. And uh, we'll probably eat lunch at Lake Catherine, snap some pictures, that sort of thing. And then on the way back down, hit Stewart Lake, or I mean, excuse me, Spirit Lake, and then head back down to our campsite, which is right about here. So anyway, that'll be our trip, and of course, day three, we'll just head on out, maybe hang around camp a little bit in the morning, but uh, we'll head on out. And as you, sh you can see, this is the total trip. And we're going to be hitting some pretty country in here. See, we're going to camp right about here. We're going to be heading Spirit Lake. And then Lake Catherine is just a jewel, of course. We can get really close and even... Let's even get a ground level view. from that point there and we can get a look at the mountains around us there should be a fun trip that's Santa Fe Baldy right there and that's the way we'll come up so anyway stay tuned and enjoy the hike Okay, I decided to include what we're having for our food on the trip. And uh, for dinners, we're having Mountain House chicken and dumplings and Idahoan roasted garlic potatoes for the next dinner with summer sausage. For breakfast, we're having oatmeal with powdered milk already added in it and raisins to sweeten it up. And then for our lunches, we're having sausages, uh, chocolate, uh, what is it, chocolate brownie cliff bars, and trail mix. And that's it, pretty simple. Um, we're also having uh, hickory smoked sausage jack links for lunches as well, or snacks, whatever you want to call it, for our day hikes. And that's about it. Welcome to the Windsor Trailhead and as you can see there's plenty of information here for hikers. Okay here's our trailhead right here 
I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But we'll be hiking up here to this corner, taking a shortcut, and camping right before Stewart Lake. There is even a little history associated with this trail. Alright folks, we're on our way. Keep going. <laughs> we are now leaving the Windsor Trailhead. The only people here. Tuesday morning, June 11th. I saw something moving in the distance, but then I realized it was just a stick in the stream moving back and forth by the water rushing by it. Ian's first time crossing a wilderness bridge over a fast running stream. He's doing pretty good. And here I go. Okay, here is our turnoff. It says Trail 261 is actually closed, um, but I just read a trail report because I get trail reports from the Forest Service. Um, Team Erman was up here and uh, they said it was passable and they even cleared a few logs. Um, although I think there's bigger ones that they can't clear that are, we're still gonna have to cross, but uh, Anyway, this is the way we're going, and it's the shortcut to our camp spot. Little sign posted along the way. Good regulations, actually. Folks, we're taking a break, heading up the trail right now, and uh, I'd like to introduce Ian, Nathan's friend, and uh, um, our guest on this hike. And uh, Nathan, how old are you? Thirteen. Nathan's thirteen years old, and uh, you're also thirteen. You're twelve. Okay, and this is Ian's first backpacking trip. And uh, you've got your mother's permission to be on this video? Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, so, uh, how are you liking it so far? Um, uh, like, yeah. This time it's quite. Good, good. So, time's flying by, you must be having fun. Um, anyway, we're having a good time here, and uh, just thought I'd check in. Um, we did weigh our packs before we took off. Um, Nathan's pack was 23 pounds, um, Ian's pack was 18 pounds, and mine was 40, because um, I'm packing most of the extra food and the uh, stove and fuel and that sort of thing, which makes mine a little heavier. Um, anyway, things are going well, and uh, we'll get back with you in a while. All right, break time's over, and it's time to hit the trail again, so here we go. Follow me. I really 
lush forest through here, through this canyon. It's really pretty. Time to head over some logs. We're seeing a lot of red columbine through here. Kind of a treacherous little log here to cross. Let me know if you need help, Ian. You got it? <laughs> More than one way to skin a cat. Good teamwork, guys. Good job, guys. We might have another over under log set here. If you go a little further up, the log's lower. No, no, up, uphill. There you go. It's a little lower there. Job. Nate's going under the next one. Good job, guys. Like a woolly bugger. Check it out, you rare flower fans. We've got a lady, or a, excuse me, not a lady slipper, but a fairy slipper orchid. Cool stuff, look at that. There we go, that's the best I can do. It's moving too much. Absolutely beautiful. Let me see if I can get a little below it for a better shot. All right, here you can see the inside colors a little bit better. That's pretty cool stuff there. Beautiful find. All right, folks. I think we found our campsite for the night. We've got wood. We've got more wood over there. We've got wood right here that's already half burnt. We've got a big old fire ring. We've got tent spots. This is going to be home. All right, we're at camp now. Our tents are set up. Sorry about the wind. It's probably messing with the microphone sound. But uh, we've got some water filtering through the gravity flow system I've got there with the Sawyer. And uh, we're snacking on some stuff. And uh, let me show you our tent setup. Let me pan around. Hey, Nathan. There's the tent that Nathan and Ian set up. 
and then uh, mine is over kind of behind the trees behind Ian over there so uh, this is the first time I'm trying uh, the Big Agnes uh, tent so we'll see how it does I'm sure it's going to be great uh, really easy to set up very intuitive um, let's check it out a little more okay I bought the Big Agnes UL2 and before you say whoa that's a $450 tent um, it is but uh, I got it at uh, REI outlet with a Memorial Day discount as well uh, I got it about half price about $200 this is probably the one I'm gonna use on the Appalachian Trail seems to be a good tent it's about two pounds and it even has lights you can pack batteries if you want um, it three, takes three AAA and it has what they call night glow or something like that so a uh, pretty cool tent Turn it out for the first time this is the first time I've ever even set it up I didn't even try it before I took it out but uh, I'm looking forward to using it a lot Here are the kids down there hanging a bear bag. Learning how to use it. Nathan's hooking the carabiner onto the loop. And it looks like Ian's pulling it up to tie it onto that tree. heavier than it looks <laughs> there they go now they're tying it off I think they got it good job guys Hey folks, we're on the way to Stewart Lake now, and the only people we've seen all day were a couple horseback riders with a dog. It's uh, been a pretty light traffic day on the trail, kind of nice. We got camp set up, our bear bag hung, and uh, we're set to go to Stewart Lake, have some snacks, hang out, maybe take a nap. <laughs> and just uh, enjoy the day. So, we have to cross this. Hopefully we don't get picked off by the flow. You go first, Nathan. You're a big boy. I'm, you're 13, I'm 12. Your dad can go first. Yeah. Just to see how strong the current is, because I don't want to get swept away. I'm the lightest here. I'll just... That can you. What? Really think that can take you away? Yes. Go, Nathan. You can do it. We all believe. I'm gonna laugh when he dips it. Just, ooh. Okay, it's safe so far. Oh! Holy God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I cannot feel my legs. <laughs> ow! 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 Ow, 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 that actually hurts. <laughs> I told you it was cold. That physically hurts. Ouch. Ow. Yeah, it hurts. hurts like All these trees are falling. All of them are dying. It's okay. You will be remembered. I told you. Gonna go on the trip. Oh, this is just walking. Oh, what's that? The guy feels a little bit of hiking. There's like squirrel or something in there. Oh, cool. So we're like close, right? What? 
So like we're really close? Oh. Maybe. Yeah. From where that stream's coming from? Yeah. Wonder what the lake looks like. Another one got pulled up and hurt. That just looks so cool. A clump of dirt. Just. It just looks amazing. Oh! I can already tell it's gonna look amazing. I think we have the lake to ourselves. Oh, the water looks all clear out there. It's like to be a bird. All right, we're here at the lake, and it is beautiful. Look at this nice objective one. Completed one way up there. Look how much snow is still on that peak. Awesome. That one's still got some snow. Sorry about the wind noise. Folks, we found a really cool spot to sit and relax, eat some snacks, maybe take a nap. But uh, look at this view that we've got here. That's beautiful. Here I am hanging out at uh, Stewart Lake, and uh, I've got the camera set up back here. I don't know if, it, yeah, there it is, I think. Um, taking a time lapse of the clouds coming over the mountains, it should be beautiful. And just having a good time. Got uh, Nate and Ian with me right there. And we're enjoying the day, relaxing. Nathan found a nice comfortable rock to take a nap on. With a view if he opens it when he opens his eyes. <laughs> and it looks like Ian has found a place down there too. Nice shady spot.
Okay. Oh, he's a savage. He's crossing it right now. He's he's just walking over it like it's in the puddle. But look at that. That's not a puddle. But we're going over our almost dead bridge. Look at this. It's terrifying. Oh, a piece of snow. This is the most treacherous stream crossing we've had thus far. Careful, that one's going to be slippery. Look out, mate, you're in the shot. Well, only one foot wet, wet, that's not bad. Yeah, not bad. And we have made it back to base camp. Alright folks, it's the chicken and dumplings taste test now. Let's see how this is. For a freeze-dried meal, that's, that's pretty darn good. That's got peas and carrots. Delicious. For, for a backpacking meal, I give it like an 8 or 9 out of 10. That's good. Now the boys are trying it. He gives it a thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up. There you have it, folks. It's unanimous. This is pretty good. Ten out of ten. brush their teeth. Now it's 8.30 and the sun's going down. Now it's turning into a beautiful sunset. Let's just pan it around. Ah, it's beautiful. One more pan shot of the sunset as it's going down. It's beautiful. And then the moon came out. wilderness backpacking. Uh, I think we all had a good time and we're a little tuckered out so we're going to turn in. Good night everybody. We'll see you in the morning. Good evening folks. It's time to turn in. It's about nine o'clock and the sun's gone down. 
the kids are in their tent talking and uh, I'm in my tent and I'm testing out a Big Agnes Fly Creek uh, UL2 with night glow um, so this is the light from the tent um, it actually has LED lights you take batteries along for so I don't know I guess it's nice for talking to you folks while I'm uh, in the tent um, so that's a good thing but it's more weight with the batteries so that's kind of a negative but anyway I'm trying it out and um, it's kind of a neat little feature I've never seen in a tent before anyway that's it I just wanted to wish you guys good night and uh, we'll see you in the morning Good morning everybody, it's 6 a.m. day two and uh, it's a beautiful morning, the sun's already shining on the trees above me and uh, it's just beautiful so uh, I'm gonna go grab the bear bag and make some coffee and enjoy the morning until the kids get up. mix. A little extravagant for in the woods, but uh, a nice treat nonetheless. Oh, it's hitting the spot. For this morning's breakfast, oatmeal with raisins. Not bad. The raisins make it sweet. I put in some powdered milk into the oatmeal mix to give it some protein. That'll get me up to Lake Catherine this morning. Alright folks, we are now on the trail up to Catherine, or Lake Catherine. <clears throat> And uh, we've gone over, or gone through a couple switchbacks, and we're heading up the hill. Should be beautiful up there. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. If I have, I'll cut this out. But uh, the guy at REI told me that uh, the lake's still, still frozen over. So uh, that'll be interesting. We brought some sweatshirts and that sort of thing just in case it's still cold there so sorry about that guys I was just climbing over that log behind me <laughs> anyway hope you're enjoying the video so far and I'll catch you in a few minutes Windsor Creek is quite a beautiful cascade through this steep stretch of mountain Man, this stream is really just tumbling straight down the mountain. Look at this. Pretty incredible. Heading up the skyline trail to Lake Catherine. Thank you. 
All right, we're almost there. We've made it to the pond just below Lake Catherine. Pretty little spot. We're going to take a break here and then continue on our arduous way. As you can see, we're snowed in now. And it's been rather rough going. Sorry I haven't filmed. Okay, we followed the tracks of the guys that went before us and they led us to here. And this is where they crossed. But as you can see, it's a snow bridge across the water and it's deep down in there. And I just don't feel comfortable taking the kids across. And they don't feel comfortable doing it either. So I think we're going to turn around here. Maybe try to find the main trail and go up the main trail. Because I think we're off the main trail. And uh, see if we can get up that way. If we can't, we'll just go back down to Spirit Lake. And that'll be an easier hike. Alright, we're heading back now. I'm kind of bummed we didn't make it to Lake Catherine. Alright, we made it down a very steep skyline trail and now we are starting the Windsor Trail or we're taking a break apparently. <laughs> we got tired and turned around before we made it even to Spirit Lake. But uh, on the way back we did find this clump of orchids. Pretty cool. Alright, this is all I'm doing to start the fire. Dried grass, moss, and fine twigs on top. Let's see how it goes here. I'm ready to add the other stuff. There, I got a fire. Now it's a little early to start the fire. It's about three o'clock, but we set up a tarp and it looks like it's about to rain, so we want to get things going a little early and keep it going. We collected some extra firewood and that sort of thing. Just so we can keep enjoying things even if it does rain. Alright, what's the verdict, guys? I don't know. Well, the verdict, <laughs> I think, is... Yours should be done, too. It only takes a minute. Okay. Uh, my verdict is 4.5 out of 5 stars. And what are you eating today? So today we are eating mashed potatoes and sausage. What kind of mashed potatoes? Um, butter. Where, where did it go? Um, roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Idaho. Good. And what's then, what's your verdict, Nate? Five out five. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you guys like it. I actually six out five. <laughs> Alright, I like them too. Let me show you folks something interesting I noticed. This is my fire ring from a camp out that I did last year around September here. And this is where I slept. But this log, this first log, was not there. I wrapped my tarp around the second one, which was higher up. It seems to have broken and gone down now. Um, maybe I can find the footage and show you guys. But this landed almost exactly where I was sleeping. Kind of scary, if you think about it. spotted a deer next to camp here. See if I can get some pictures of it. It's a 
little dark. Hi, dear. Doesn't seem to be too afraid of us. I'll show you where it is in proximity to my tent. It's just right there. and uh, I ended up not filming very much yesterday which I was really disappointed about. Uh, we hiked for five hours trying to get to Lake Catherine and Spirit Lake and just wore ourselves out and didn't feel like filming much and that's just kind of how the day went. We, we didn't make it to Lake Catherine due to um, adverse snow conditions. Um, we weren't really prepared for it, and uh, Nathan's friend Ian isn't wasn't doesn't have the right footwear and that sort of thing, and he was slipping on the snow, and um, it, it could have gotten dangerous. And uh, there was a stream crossing that was kind of on a little snow bridge or a snow overhang that could have fell through, and I didn't want them to go over that. And you know, I want to have fun activities for them, not life-threatening activities for them, so uh, we turned around and went back after a pretty arduous and steep hike, and they did well. The kids did awesome. I'm the one that didn't do well. I got dehydrated, I didn't drink enough water, and I ended up getting a headache at the end of the day. I know better than that. I don't know why I didn't drink more water, but we're just going to take it easy today, slow down, take an easy hike out, and uh, relax. I don't care how long it takes to break out, break down camp. As long as we're home by five o'clock, I'm good. That's the situation here. Again, I hope you're enjoying the video and I will see you when we get started hiking, I guess. All right, we're all loaded up and it's time to go. Let's head on out, guys. We'll see you at the trailhead. Probably before the trailhead. But here's the view down Pecos River Canyon. I don't know how well you can see, but through the trees here is a view of Pecos Baldy, both summits, east and west. That's bear scat. I haven't seen that around here in a long time. Catch 
cute little butterfly. Great horny toads! Ah, they all left. Alright guys, starting with Ian, what was your favorite part of the trip? My favorite part of the trip was probably the first night we stayed. Um, I know, it just kind of felt really comfy and like, really like we're happy. Okay. And you, Nathan? Um, my favorite part of the trip is when we went to Stuart Lake. Cool. Okay, and I think my favorite part of the trip was finding fairy slipper flowers. At least one of us was happy to get back to the car. Alright folks, we're back at the trailhead and uh, it was a harder hike than anticipated. Um, but it was an enjoyable trip. The boys pushed their boundaries a little bit and had a good time as well. So very rewarding. That's it. This concludes another episode of Star Mountain Outdoors and Bushcraft. This is John signing out. Have a good one and don't forget to like, share, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and uh, check out the links I have down below as well. And uh, we'll be seeing you later. Have a good one.